Bonjour tout le monde! In today's video, we are going to be looking at how to use sa me phrases to spice up our opinions in our French writing and speaking. Sa me phrases are used to say it somethings me. For example, it makes me, it amuses me, it interests me. We use them all the time in English as well. What we have to remember about sa me phrases is that they are used with a verb. We can't say it interestings me, but we can say it interests me. Summer phrases are formed by taking the sa, me, it, me, literally translated, and adding a verb afterwards. It, me, interests, for example. Summer phrases are used as an alternative to an adjective. C'est fatigant, meaning it is tiring, could become ça me fatigue. It tires me. And as such, we use these phrases to add variety to our writing so that we're avoiding repetition and we sound as though we have more lovely depth to the language that we're writing and speaking. Let's look at some examples that you will see in your new topic in year eight. Here are the most common summer phrases you will be using this term. The top ones we can see, it interests me, amuses me, tires me, excites me bores me and annoys me, they use this sa, me plus the verb structure. Things get a little bit more interesting in these last examples where we have sa, me, fait, it makes me, makes being the verb, and then an adjective, so it makes me laugh. It, sorry, then a verb, it makes me laugh, it makes me dance, it makes me move. And we also have it puts me, it puts me in a good mood or a bad mood. So let's look at some of these in action. Down here, we have five sentences and it's up to us to decide what fits best. Is it the adjective or the verb using a sama phrase? This first one, moi j'adore la musique pop parce que c'est passionnant or we could say moi j'adore la musique pop parce que c'est passion. Which one do you think works best in this sentence? Which do we need to use here? Have a little think. We can see that we've got say, it is, so we're going to want to follow that with an adjective. It is something, it is exciting. So we're going to use the adjective passiono. We're not going to say it is excites. Let's look at the next one. Honnêtement, je déteste faire du shopping. À mon avis, ça me raison. Or... À mon avis, ça me rase. Have a little think. Right. Honestly, I hate to do shopping. In my opinion, it boring or bores me. We're going to use the verb to bore rather than the adjective boring. And you might start noticing we can tell we're using an adjective. We've got an ing ending in English. It ends in an ant ending in French. If you think you're ready, you can pause the video here and have a go at the next three, deciding which of the two sentence endings you think fits best. I'm going to carry on and you can come back and check your answers in a moment. À mon avis, j'aime Netflix car je pense que c'est très amusant or car je pense que c'est très amuse. We've got say again, it is, it is funny or it is amuses. We're going to want amusing or funny, the adjective. Personnellement, je n'aime pas la musique rock. Ça me fatigue or ça me fatigue. Personally, I do not like rock music. It tiring me or it tires me. In this case, we want the verb to tire. We don't want the adjective tiring because we've got ça me at the beginning. And the last one. Je pense que mon portable est super. Ça me intéressant or ça me intéresse. I think that my mobile is super. It interestings me or it interests me. Here we've got ça me, so we know we have to follow it with the verb. If we wanted to use the adjective, we would want say it is in front of there. Well done. Right. One last quick look at all of our list of SAMA phrases. These can also be found in your core knowledge at the front of your new booklet. And we will now have a look 
at applying them to some sentences that we can translate. So, j'aime manger la pizza, ça me passionne. I like eating pizza, it excites me. I like eating, or to eat, double verb structure there that we saw in year seven. Pizza, it excites me. J'aime manger la pizza, c'est passionnant. I like eating pizza, and here, a little bit different. It is exciting. We've got the adjective instead of the verb. Same message is being conveyed, but in two different ways, and that's what we want, really, isn't it? Lots and lots of variety in our writing. See if you can do the next two. C and D. There we go, we've got the same start to the sentence. I love pop music because it interests me. We've got a ça m'intéresse. And it is interesting. We've got a c'est intéressant. You should be fairly confident with these now. Pause the video and have a go at the last few and I will write in the answers for you to check. Remember, you can use your core knowledge to help you with any of the vocabulary if you're not feeling too confident with that just yet. go and the last two and the last one has an adjective in it so we've got j'aime jouer au foot again but this time it is well we had a but there didn't we but it is tiring. And there we have it, summer phrases. What do we need to look out for? We need to make sure we're checking uh, the difference between the use of the summer phrase and the adjective. Are we using it is plus an adjective or are we using summer plus the verb? Have a go yourselves. Take a look at the video sheet in your booklet as well. Feel free to come back and have another look at this video before you give that a go. Good luck. Au revoir.